And the way to do that, if you got stung on the hand here, uh, not by a wasp, but by a honeybee, would be to take that stinger. You'd see a stinger, it would be pumping away on your hand, and you want to get it out quick so you don't wait till you get home and get a pair of tweezers. Uh, take whatever you have handy, either a credit card or even your fingernail, and just scrape it out, and that's the best way to get it off quickly. The quicker you get it off, the less venom you'll receive, the less venom you'll receive, the less pain you'll actually experience. Now, after you've been stung, <clears throat> there's all kinds of myths as to what you can do to, to make it better. Uh, some people will recommend putting meat tenderizer on it. Uh, any of these insects that you see there, the sting inject the venom right inside your skin. So putting anything external on there is really not going to have any impact. So uh, meat tenderizer or something like baking soda, or some people say if you put an onion on there, <coughs> or some people say uh, if you put a penny on there, <coughs> uh, or some people say that if you put a spoon on there, <laughs> none of those things will have any impact on uh, the amount of uh, sort of pain that that venom causes. Uh, one thing that you can do is uh, if you get stung by either a wasp or a bee is to get some water or even some grass and just rub it across there to remove any alarm pheromone that the, the bee or the wasp might deposit on you. That can prevent you from getting further stings if there are a lot of bees or a lot of wasps in the area. Uh, the other thing you can do is to try and put some kind of a cold compress on it like ice pack with maybe a towel wrapped around it and that will help to slow the spread of the venom that is beneath your skin and that can actually alleviate some of the pain and long-term swelling. If you're trying to prevent swelling or if you think you might be getting an allergic reaction, <clears throat> then you can use antihistamines. If you're a person that has a very, very severe allergy to stings, uh, you could potentially go into anaphylactic shock from just a single sting. If you are that type of person, you should probably be carrying something like this. It's called an EpiPen and it's got adrenaline in it. Uh, if you were stung and you were feeling um, maybe nauseous or you're seeing swelling in a spot other than where you got stung, if you got stung in the arm and you started to swell in the face, uh, if you started to uh, experience difficulty breathing, uh, any kinds of symptoms like that, dizziness as a result of getting stung might be a sign of a broader uh, allergic reaction. In that case, uh, you should probably seek medical attention uh, immediately and if you have one of these carry it with you and if you think that you're you're going to be going into shock make sure you've got somebody with you that can either administer this uh, or you can self-administer it by taking it out of the package and basically just plunging it into your leg um, that will get you uh, to the hospital usually it lasts for about 15 minutes to half an hour and hopefully that will give you enough time that you can get to the hospital and get uh, medical treatment